Why does she need a spanking? Because she uh, has been naughty or because she hasn't been naughty enough. Let's look at a couple of different positions that we might be in where we can use these same three spanks. So having the woman on all fours is an ideal position for a spanking session. Now let's say her hips were tilted like this, right? So we've got a bit of this turtle back action. Then, I mean, we can spank it from that position, but we want to expose the butt more. So I put my hand on the sacrum and say, put your ass up, All right? So that angles the hip. So we've got this nice juicy surface here and here that we're now hitting. Now you can see that now the butt is under tension the butt bone now sticks out. No matter kind of how padded she is, you're gonna, that's closer to the surface. So if I spank directly over that with any force, it's gonna hurt, all right? There's not meat there, that's not where we wanna impact. So we've got again, around the pocket and under the cheek, all right? So what I'll usually do from this position, if I, I'll come in and lock myself in. So I'll grip her by her pelvis here, holding her in stable so, so she's being pushed into my body. That feels nice and secure, it's dominant, right? Because if I was just out here, just kind of randomly spanking with no other touch, it's gonna to be kind of an awkward, disconnected experience, as opposed to when I've locked her in here. Again, she's like my instrument, right? Where I can caress the body, can you know rub between the legs, of course. You know, I've got access to her whole body here whilst doing the spanking, right? So, you know, maybe I, I've bent her down, might be holding her with a dominance hold around the neck or holding her in here and telling her, you've been a naughty girl, haven't you? Yeah. What did you do wrong? Everything, something. Whatever it is, you need to be punished, all right? So we might be having our little role play. Now, whilst I'm doing that, I've got my basic warm-up spank. So I, I'm impacting here, impacting here. So switching between this fleshy part, skipping over here to the top of the thigh, bottom of the butt there. All right, again, with this completely loose, relaxed hand formation, right? And then if I want to increase it, pop there, or the other, other types of spanks we've got, spank grab, spank grab, and then the glancing strikes. Now, because the angles are all different, I'm gonna to have to be glancing across this way, like this, or across this way here. So depending on the shape of the body, for this one, we, we angle it in different directions, so we've got finger flick, lift, shearing strike here or across the top there, whilst interdispersing that with my So if you're, if you're kind of new to the idea of a spanking, you might be thinking, what, are you literally doing a whole bunch of spanks in a row? And the answer is yeah. Right, because most guys think of spanking as like they're behind the woman and they once in a while do that, right? Which is fine, I mean, it'll have some sensation, but it's the, the rhythmic action of this that puts her into a trance-like state, right? And to the dominant submissive archetypal relationship, right? This is an expression of this, right? So it's that I have command of her body, you know, I've been I've held her, I've told her that she's mine, I've told, you know, I've start, started some kind of basic role play that she needs a spanking. Maybe, why does she need a spanking? Because she's stressed out, because she uh, has been naughty, or because she hasn't been naughty enough. Whatever it is, doesn't matter, we can make something up. That's just uh, the setup for it. And then we get into this rhythmic experience for her, interdispersed with these sensual touches. Of course, I can you know, then touch the pussy or finger in to disperse this, so it becomes a, a full kind of erotic, immersive experience. And of course, we can spank whilst we're in doggy position. And this is where most men, if they've ever spanked, have done it in this position, right? So you're having sex and occasionally the guy goes, right? It's not the end of the world, it's not awful, but it's not really getting the juice out of what spanking could be, right? So you wanna think of it again as like an accent or an additional uh, types of sensations that we're adding into our sexual play. Right, so you know, we're having sex whilst gripping, whilst grasping, and then giving her some spanks as an accent. Maybe, you know, I've been going quite hard at this point, and then I give her one of these, one of those, right? Or I start to build it up, like maybe I'm holding myself out, so I'm not letting her 
penetrate, so I'll say don't move, right? So she's just got half my cocking, for, for example, so she's feeling that tension of wanting more of it. And then I'm building things up. You can see, obviously, that I can use doubles here very easily in this position. And then maybe I penetrate from there, right? One other thing that I'll often do in this position is take a chunk of the butt and lift it up. All right, so this works for all of, well, for most of the techniques that I've shown you. So if I want to do the glancing strike like this, it'll be easier and kind of sexier and more dominant if I take a chunk here and give it like that, or I create this pop like this. As a little bonus technique, what I've done here is the basic spank, but what I've done is gripped it, and then as the spank lands, I release. All right, so it has this kind of double shock where you've got skin under tension, pop, release. All right. Remembering our dispersal strokes, continuing to have tactile, sensual connection with her in amongst, you know, doing the, the rougher types of strokes. And the other great position to spank a woman from is sitting over your knee, right? So the way I do that, bring her into this position, is I just sit down, take her by the hands, lie down. Let her settle. And then if I need to, I can tuck her legs in, right, pack her into me. So now this is a very comfortable position, lie down where she can actually, you know, lie down and relax. The nature of where she's lying means that her, her hips are naturally angled up, right? So we've created this nice curvature here. And I'm in a physically comfortable position, right? I can lock in, I can hold her in under the hip like this. And I've got easy access to literally her entire body from here. And from here, Great to do all those spanking techniques that we had before. When she's lying down, her butt is completely relaxed, so you've got greater margin for error here. It's, it's loose and not under any kind of muscular tension. All right, so here I'm literally just using gravity because it's just dropping to do my warm-up spanks, holding her in. I can be caressing the rest of the body. I want to do my glancing strikes. I'm aware that the curvature is like this. So this one, right? Fingers come in, flick and lift. Spank grab doesn't work as well from this position, but I can do kind of a reverse version of it. All right, so instead I'm hitting with the lower part of the heel of the palm and then grip here, can do the same one. Remembering my dispersal strokes. Erotic touch, obviously I could be fingering her from here, I could be giving her a massage in the upper body as well. So this can be a whole session of different types of ass worship, massage, fingering, spanking, which is a, a beautiful sensual flow for a woman to go through. And in this circumstance, she's being pleasured and you're uh, you know, enjoying her body. So she can just relax, right? she doesn't have to put on a show, she doesn't have to, you know, get particularly involved except to enjoy herself, right? So this is a really beautiful and intimate space that you can have with a woman. And you'd be very surprised, because for some guys this may seem like an odd thing to do, like, well, how do I suggest this to my girlfriend? Why would she want this? So many women want this, right? You look like you need a spanking. Come over, get on daddy's lap or come and, you know, sit on my lap and let me enjoy your body. All right, so just drawing her in, lying her down, starting with sensual touch. You know, maybe she's someone that's not super into spanking, so then maybe the majority of this is more to do with massage and kneading and rubbing a pussy with the occasional spank strike. But the vast majority of women love a good spanking and emphasis on the word good something they don't often get to experience because either guys don't do it at all because they're worried that uh, it's abusive or their girl, their, the type of girl they're with wouldn't want it. You'd be surprised. Uh, or on the other side, the guys are just rough and wooden with it, just kind of thinking that, yeah, I saw this in porn, so you just whack girls sometimes for some reason to like exert your dominance or something like that. No, this is a thing that I'm doing as the dominant for the submissive. Right, I'm actually serving her pleasure needs. Of course, I'm getting things out of it as well. I'm objectifying her, I'm enjoying, you know, using her body for my delights. But really, this is about 
making, the, making her feel good. So think about that. In, I mean, that goes through all areas of your sexual play, actually. If we can be aware of how is this feeling for the other at any given time, if both partners are doing that, then everyone's going to be enjoying themselves. But particularly in this uh, situation where I'm using impact play, right, I want to think of it as an immersive, sensual experience for her. And now you know three professional spanking techniques to please your lovers with. Believe it or not, I have identified eight specific spank types as your resident spanking nerd. And I'm teaching those in much more explicit detail than I can show here in the Master Lover Toolkit, which is available for enrollments right now, but only for the next four days. After that, I'm closing the cart and moving on to coaching the guys who've signed up for the course, which so far, dozens have already signed up. The Master Lover Toolkit is a five-week progressive program which has over 50 explicit technical modules where I take you through everything, and I mean everything, that you need to be world-class in bed. From the basics of foreplay and arousal through to advanced techniques such as choking, spanking, restraints, anal sex, teaching your woman to give you deep throat blowjobs, and so much more. This is the world's most elite online training course for men when it comes to improving your sexuality. It has been field tested for years in live programs, and now I've cut it down into a sleek, streamlined course that you can study from home to take you from wherever you are at currently in your experience and technical knowledge through to becoming a literal sex god, the best that she's ever had. So now's your opportunity to join the course with a whole range of huge bonus modules thrown in for free. Click the link below, go to the page which explains everything in full detail, sign up and we'll see you in the course and we'll see you for tomorrow's video. Peace.